y'all i don't know we might be in trouble did y'all see hulu is about to release a documentary about 94 freaknik yes yes 1994 freaknik yes they are about to release the documentary so um i'm just now I, i've been to several freaknik's 94 was one that i attended uh, so I'm, I'm just praying that Jesus be a fence. I'm praying that Jesus just be a big, tall privacy fence. That's my prayer. This Easter, this Good Friday, that's my prayer. So um, you know, I will say this though. I will say this. Like when they would bring out those video cameras and start recording, I immediately remove myself from the um, that situation. I never ever ever um was okay with being recorded out there so um hopefully hopefully that worked to my benefit but you know you never know you never know so the only thing i got is if you see your girl <laughs> in the documentary hey man at least i'm fully clothed at least all my clothes is on that's that's all i got <laughs> that's that's the best i got but yeah y'all they about to put our business out in the street we about to, some of us might be on tv so get your parental controls together and uh mm, i don't know y'all i don't know Traps right, understand how to get that. Ran down on them niggas with a flip back. You ain't never seen on a nigga live like that. I was still getting sex back. Had to fuck around getting them packs back. Niggas. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Bullet Scotty. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And support the platform. Right, let's get into this video. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Bullet Scotty. Here we go, man. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? I said, you know what? I'm going to do a video today. And I'm going to basically talk about this whole Freaknik, you know, documentary that Hulu is going to drop. I'm hearing it's coming on Hulu. And the whole big outrage about the Freaknik situation. Now, I'm going to give you my, basically, my, 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 my opinion on the whole scenario and the whole thing, right? A lot of women... And even I'm hearing men is even upset about the whole Freaknik documentary. I was on Clubhouse and they was even rambling about it, right? My problem, my problem is, is that how can you be mad at a documentary of something that happened 30 years ago, right? A lot of the Freaknik, the last Freaknik was in 1998, right? The last Freaknik. Freaknik. It's something that started in 80, 80, I think 89, no, 82. It started in 82, but it, the, the first event started in like 89, I think 88, 89, right? So an event that was uh, big in Atlanta history, right? Now, it was about young college people having fun. It's just like you look at Howard Homecoming, young black college kids having fun. You know what I'm saying? So that's what Freaknik was about. Young college kids having fun. And I don't understand why everybody's mad. Because you got documentaries where they talk about white college kids having fun, doing wild, crazy shit. You know? So in the whole Freaknik documentary, with so much negativity that's going on in our community, right? We nitpicking on a Freaknik documentary that's 30 plus years, 30 odd years ago, man. Right? What is we Nick picking on that? When we got, and, and, and I heard dudes was like, oh, Uncle Luke, he's responsible, and he should be shaming himself. That's a 62 year old man, bro. Uncle Luke music, and to be honest, musically, he's not relevant right now. Let's keep it real. He's not relevant right now. You know what I'm saying? Uncle Luke was relevant at a, at a, at a, at a time where musically, don't get me wrong, he's a legend, but musically, he's not musically relevant. So how you gonna get mad at Uncle Luke and get mad at the Freaknik documentary? When you got documentaries where 
people is talking about being drug dealers and and, and, and documentaries about uh, poverty in the hood and we can't have a documentary where it talks about young kids having fun. Yeah, it is what it is, man. To me personally, I don't see what the big deal is. I don't see where it has to be so much a big issue. People making it an issue when it shouldn't even be an issue. You know what I'm saying? Because we're talking about 30 years ago. We're talking about when, you know, music was different. Um, fun was different. We're talking about the crack era. You know, we're talking about a, a era where it was, it was a dark time, but people still knew how to have fun. So when you got people that nitpicking on a Hulu documentary and saying, oh, they should be shaming themselves and boycott Hulu. And I'm going to keep it real. I think a lot of these documentaries should be, you know, if they're going to be done right, do them right. But to pick and choose and get mad off of a, a documentary that we need, to, we need to be protesting power. We need to be protesting snowfall. We need to be boycotting BMF. We need to be boycotting drill music. We need to be boycotting a lot of things that's bad for us. But we're not boycotting that. So don't get mad at one documentary and you're not mad at the other buffoonery, the other clownery that depicts us on TV and in the movies. So if you're not mad at that, don't be mad at a freak nick documentary. It's, it's enough things going on in the world for us to even waste our time on a freak nick documentary. I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it all the way real, treat top tour with y'all. It's a lot of important issues that we need to be touching on. And we sitting here worrying about a freak nick documentary. Like, people fly all these in the black community is so messed up that they worrying about a, a freak nick documentary. When all of the freak nick footage been on the internet, the pictures been on the internet, it been on YouTube, it been on Instagram, it been on Google. So what is you mad about? These are things that's already been out there. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't want them out there, you should have never took the picture and never been in the videos. You know what I'm saying? If you ashamed of your past, then you, you, you should be ashamed of your, your present then. Because if you ain't ashamed of your past, you shouldn't even worry about no freak nick documentary. It's what it is, you know? But, hey, it is what it is, man. It's your boy Bullets Gotti. I just wanted to do a video to talk about that freak nick documentary. That this is a bunch of bogus outrage. The outrage is bogus, you know? And, and, and to be honest... Why is everybody mad about a documentary? This is a documentary. We're just keeping it real. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Salute.